Hello everyone, good morning. This is Sage live from Kalkine Studios and you're watching The Early Trades, a show where we will share with you a glimpse of the Australian share market's opening trading scenario along with the global and domestic drivers triggering the market's momentum. And in our first segment of the show today, we'll look at how the early morning trades panned out, taking cues from Wall Street's action overnight. Then in the last segment, we'll look at the prominent newsmakers grabbing the headlines dur during the early trading hours, as well as movements seen in cryptocurrency, crude oil, gold and the metals indices. So despite Wall Street closing on a positive note, the Australian share market is trading in the red during the opening trade on Thursday. The Australian benchmark index ASX 200 dropped 40.60 points or 0.54% to 7,491.30 after closing 0.4% higher on Wednesday. And meanwhile, the dairy giant A2 Milk reported a 79% fall in profit in the financial year 2021 due to sluggish demand from China. The revenue was down around 30%. Let us quickly now glance at the US markets performance and on Wall Street, the financials, industrials, communications and the consumer discretionary sector lifted the three major indices higher overnight. The Dow Jones rose 0.1%, the S&P 500 climbed 0.2% and the Nasdaq jumped 0.15%. Market sentiment also improved after the top U.S. health official, Dr. Anthony Fauci, said that coronavirus could be under control by early 2022. On Friday, the U.S. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell is expected to talk about tapering the Federal Reserve's bond buying program at the Jackson Hole Symposium. Moving on now to the last segment of the show. Let us quickly look at the highlights of the prominent ASX stocks under the spotlight during the early trading session. The first company on our list today is Peat. The residential land developer has reported a net profit after tax of 28.5 million Australian dollars for financial year 21, an 89% increase over the last year. The operating earnings per share also soared 90% to 5.9 cents per share. The company also declared a fully franked final dividend of 2.5 cents per share. Next up is Hansen Technologies, the customer information systems, billing software and data management systems developer has extended its exclusivity period with BGH Capital till 10th September 2021, which was due to finish on the 25th of August. The reason to extend the period was that the bidder asked for more time to complete due diligence. Let's move on now to the biggest independent coal miner in Australia, Whitehaven Coal, who reported a net loss of 543 million Australian dollars for financial year 21. Despite the soaring coal prices, the revenue also fell 9.6% to 1.56 billion Australian dollars. The company incurred significant expenses of around 650 million Australian dollars regarding asset impairments. And meanwhile, the information technology company Dicker Data has recorded a 9.2% jump in the financial year 21 net profit to 32.1 million Australian dollars on the back of a 6.3% jump in the revenue to 1.07 billion Australian dollars in the second half of financial year 21. The company's earnings per share stood at 18.6 cents per share. And lastly, automotive retail group Eager's automotive statutory net profit grew multifold to 202.3 million Australian dollars for the half year ended 30th June from 11.8 million Australian dollars in the previous period. The company announced an interim dividend of 20 cents per share and a special dividend of 8.4 cents per share. And it's time for a small break now, but please do stay tuned on Calkine TV for more trending updates. Tune in to stay updated while on the move. We will tell you where the crypto craze has reached. Where the property market is headed next. What the world is doing to become more environmentally friendly. Apart from tracking the daily market charter. Be on top of the latest news and announcements with Calkine TV.
Welcome back, I'm Sage. And you're watching Calkine TV. Let us now take a look at more of those trending updates from the ASX. And looking at the bond yields as well, the US Treasury yields jumped to its highest in nearly two weeks, ahead of Powell's speech, with the benchmark 10-year yields rising to 1.339%. On the other hand, in the currency space, the dollar index fell 0.081%. And meanwhile, the crude oil prices surged over 1% on Wednesday after the US government's data revealed that the fuel demand reached its highest levels since the pandemic started. While the Brent crude rose 1.7%, WTI rose 1.2%. And the energy stocks such as Woodside Petroleum was trading lower during the early trades, whereas Santos edged lower too on Thursday. And looking at the futures and commodity space... The price of the yellow metal fell more than 1% as investors eyed the Jackson Hole Symposium. Spot gold fell 0.6%. Gold futures settled down 1%. And the ASX listed gold stocks such as St Barbara was seen in the red during the early trading session, whereas Newcrest Mining was also trading lower on Thursday. And meanwhile, the benchmark copper on the London Metal Exchange was down 0.1%. And thank you for joining us on that report. But that's all for now in the early morning trades. Stay tuned to Calkine TV as we have many more shows lined up for you for sharing live updates across the economy, markets and sectors. This is Sage signing off.